Hello. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the presence of the sleep cycles that we have and how chronic pain can impact these sleep cycles. And as I've mentioned before, the connection between sleep and pain is bidirectional, which means that there can be also the fact that when you have sleep disturbance due to something else, a disturbance of your sleep cycles, can, that can also predispose you to chronic pain. So what are the sleep cycles? Now all of you may be aware that within sleep itself we just don't have one phase of sleep. We go through many phases and in a typical seven to nine hours of sleep we often go between what's called as the REM sleep and then the NREM sleep. REM stands for rapid eye movement and NREM stands for non-rapid eye movement. And in a typical seven to nine hour phase, we have about five such phases of REM, NREM, REM, NREM, and so on. So in a 90 minute phase, it's about 20% of the time that we have REM and the rest can be NREM. And this ratio keeps changing. What's been shown by recent studies is that we spend a lot more time in NREM in the first half of our sleep and then in the second half there is more time given to the REM phase. Now you may all remember and know that the REM phase is where dreams happen, you might be able to have vivid imaginations and we now realize that dreams are an integral part of how the brain processes certain activities and connections of the previous day. There is still a lot of research going on there, but the NREM phase is what's most important for pain management and there is a very real reason for that. Now in NREM phase, what happens is that the unwanted connections, the nerve circuits that get formed during the day when you have a painful experience and it forms a nerve circuit, that nerve circuit can get broken down when you have a good quality of NREM sleep, your brain can actually break down those unwanted circuits and connections. When you don't get enough NREM sleep, those connections that are formed during the day continue to persist and get built on and they might be maladaptive connections that can predispose you to a chronic pain later on when you experience any other stimulus or insult. So it's important to optimize your NREM and improve on that and because the first half of the night is when we do most our NREM, that is the phase of sleep that gets affected the most when you sleep later and later at night or you reduce the number of hours that you sleep the NREM phase is what gets sacrificed. And so that sets the stage for chronic pain in many patients when you start having sleep disturbances from early on. This is what is the role of sleep cycles and pain, and I hope you found this useful. Thank you.